Hi, this is John Daly back at the Control Air Factory, and I was recently in California and able to video our Type 100 and our Type 300 regulator uh, during a valve actuator process. Uh, they were setting up a valve actuator, and uh, we noted the difference in relief capacities of the two regulators. We hope you enjoy this video. So if you wanted to set it, and you wanted that, you know, 30, and you went over, you got to back it off. But it just takes too much time. See how slow it goes going back? Why you don't want to use a Type 300 or 330 regular right. instead of the valve? Because you get, okay, say there's 30, now you have to try to hurry up and lock it back in. Now I'm still not right. So now, not only does it take a long time to exhaust, but it takes, it's jumpy. So you right. set it, you, it's kind of like hunting back and forth yep. looking for the exact. See, I'm still not right. right. So I'd have to go up a little bit more and then it climbs slowly. Right. It's not really precise. And then the bleed off time, you know, the bleed off time when you're testing a valve, look how long it's taking to bleed. Now we're going to hitch up the Type 100, show you the difference in the quickness, how, you, how quick it is to set a valve. So if you want this valve, uh, you want to test it at 40 PSI, pick it up, you're at 40. You want to go to 60? No hunting, boom, 60. right to it. You want to take it back down to 30? That's due to the extra high relief capacity of the Type 100. Right. And the uh, total overall bleed off time is a quarter of what it would take, maybe less, than using the Type 300 or 330. Well, You're Grant, done. that's awesome. That was a great, great lesson in, in, uh, in why you want to use the Type 100 when setting a valve. Time saver. Time is money. Great. Especially in the field. That's awesome. Thanks, Grant. Thank you.